Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So a few days back I created a video on how you can hide users private data and you guys seem to love it. So I am back with two more security features that you can add into your app. But before we continue I have an announcement to make. I am now on Patreon. For those who don't know what Patreon is, it is basically a platform where you guys can support creators by donating some sort of amount. So it's been a few months since I have been doing YouTube and I upload one video every week. Now the reason why I made make one video per week is because I have to first do some research on what topic to share with you guys then I create the content then I record it and redo all of my code and then do the voiceover so in general it takes me one week or so and also not to mention I have a 9 to 5 job so it's pretty hard to maintain both but it's you guys who support my channel and motivate me to make more videos and stay uh, consistent I started with zero subscribers and now I'm about to reach 500 now I know it's not much but it's still reaching to 500 is way more than I expected when I started you this YouTube and so coming to the main point that is I have created a patreon account where you guys can support me by donating five dollars right now I'm making no money from my videos and right now it is still a long run to get monetized so some help would be appreciated i'll link my patreon account down in the description below i love you guys keep supporting me like this and share your thoughts about if i am asking too much or not uh, down in the comment section now that being said let's get into our video so i have my xcode project set up already so let's go to our view controller and inside our view controller let's uh, inside our view did load let's uh, add a notification center and then we are going to say default dot add observer and it is going to be self then inside selector we are going to say hash selector and we are going to leave it for now and let's move on inside name we are going to say UI application dot user did take a screenshot notification and inside object inside object we are going to say nil Now let's go ahead and create our Objective-C function that we are going to put in our selector. So we are going to say at the rate obj-c func and we are going to say did take screenshot. And inside our function we are going to pass in a parameter called notification now inside this we are going to show our uh, alert message so for that we are going to say let alert equals UI alert controller And we are going to select the last one and inside our title we are going to say stop taking screenshots and for the message we are going to say someone someone just took a screenshot and for the presentation style we are going to say dot alert after this we are going to say alert dot add action because we want to add a button at the bottom so we are going to say UI alert action and we are going to select the last one and inside our title we are going to say ok and the style is going to be default and we don't need the handler so let's delete that after this we are going to say self dot present and inside our view controller to present we are going to say alert and we are going to say we are going to make animated true and then for completion handler we are going to say nil now let's put our function inside our selector 
and now let's run the app to see everything is working fine now if I click on device and I click on trigger screenshot it will give me an alert message saying stop taking screenshots Now that this part is done, let's take a look at our second feature, which is that we can detect whether the user is recording or not. So let's go to our main storyboard and let's add another view controller. Now let's select our first view controller and then let's embed this inside a tab bar controller. After that, let's link our second view controller with the tab bar controller. Now, once that is done, let's open up our inspector. Oops, open up the wrong thing. Uh, let's open up our inspector. Right there, okay. And where it says item, let's add video recorder and for the second one let's say screenshot and let's go ahead and run the app to see everything is working fine so as you can see down at the bottom it says screenshot and video recorder and let's try and take a screenshot to see if that is working as well and there you go it is working just fine so now let's work on the video recorder feature so for that we are going to create a new file a Swift file and we are going to call it video recording and let's go ahead and remove the foundation let's do import UI kit and then in for our class we are going to say video recording and we are going to inherit it with UI view controller and then let's add our view did load function even though we don't need this but I just added it at anyways and let's go back to our main storyboard and let's link this file with our uh, view controller but before that let's add a button so that when whenever we click on the button uh, we will show we will check if uh, if the user is recording or not and for the name we are going to say check for recording now let's go ahead and link it open up assistant and uh, I forgot to add the class so let's go ahead and add the class we are going to say video recording and there we go okay now we are going to click on it press control and drag it over here at the bottom and we are going to say on button press And now before adding anything inside the the IB action we are going to create a function called check if recording and it is going to return bool and then inside our function we are going to add for screen in UI screen dot screens and then we are going to say if screen dot is captured and so inside our if statement we are going to say return true and 
after where our for loop is ending we are going to say return false and in our IB action we are going to call this function so we are going to say if check if recording if it is true then we are going to add an alert that we let's just copy and paste to our previous work and let's paste it over here and it's inside our title let's change it to stop recording and for the message we are going to say someone is recording and everything else looks good and uh, let's go ahead and run the app and now when we go to our okay one more thing that uh, i cannot open up the video screen recorder on my simulator and uh, i am going to run this application on my uh, on my phone and if i click on the button as you can see it is giving me a uh, an alert saying stop recording and let's also try the screenshot feature when i take a screenshot it's all it also says stop taking a screenshot and there you go this is how you can uh, implement these two features to check if the user is recording or taking a taking a screenshot and you can do so many things with these uh, with this feature uh, just like snapchat whenever you take a screenshot it tells you that if a user has taken a screenshot or not so i hope you guys have learned something valuable today if so then like my video and subscribe to my channel also if you guys think that my content is helpful then support me on patreon that's all from my side and i'll see you in the next one